Hi, my name's Marissa Peer, and I've been a therapist for over 30 years. And many, many people come to see me because they have extraordinarily low self esteem. They may be beautiful, they may be talented, they may be successful, they may be married with four gorgeous children. They can be men or women, young or old, rich or poor, beautiful or not. And they all have the same issue. They have very low self esteem. Now, self esteem means how much I like myself. If I said to you, I hold you in the highest esteem, I'm talking about how much I feel about you, but self-esteem means what I feel about me. And we live in a very funny world where we judge ourselves and what other people think of us. Am I thin enough, tall enough? Have I got the right labels? Am I wearing designer? We kind of now worship stuff that is not real. And it's a great shame that we're all about the packaging. And because we're all about the packaging, people go through life with this belief, I'm not good enough, I'm not interesting enough, or funny enough, or smart enough, or attractive enough. And even though I'm successful, I'm not successful enough. And that simply isn't true. But often we pick up these beliefs at a very, very early age. We tend to learn what we live. And if our parents say, look, I know you got B, why couldn't you get A? Or look at your sister. She never had any problem doing maths. Or look at your brother. He's always been really good at English. Why can't you do that? Then these children start at a very early age to feel bad about themselves. They don't feel good about who they are. They feel like a fraud. They feel they can't accomplish stuff. They feel that they're not enough, that everything they do isn't enough. And so these things start at a very, very early age. As a therapist, it's a bit like a movie going backwards. A client comes in and they tell me their story. And I like to unravel it to see what's going on. So I'll give you an example. I worked with a trader who made a lot of money and was very good looking and he said, I, I just have no luck with women and I'm unhappy and I drink a lot and I drink a lot because my life is empty and everyone thinks my life is great because I'm a city trader with all the trappings but I have no wife, no kids, no luck with women and I just sit in a bar every night alone. And to me, I was like, yeah, that's interesting. Why would he be like that? So we started to look at his story. And it was a funny little story because it wasn't like a really deep, painful story. His parents had two girls and then they had him. And he would sit with his tonka troys and smash them together and go, why do you do that? Look at your sisters. They're just brushing their doll's hair. And they're so quiet and they're so good. What's wrong with you? And then he'd break something and I'd go, oh, Look at you, you break everything. Why can't you be like your sisters? They're so good, they're so quiet, they're so sweet. And I said, look, that's like getting a dog and going, why can't you be like a cat? Look at the cat. It's just sitting in the sun. Why can't you do that? You know, you're a boy. You're not meant to be like a girl. And it was so interesting for him to kind of unravel his life and see, yeah, even at the age of two, all I heard is what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Why can't you be like them? Look how good they are. Look how bad you are breaking stuff, making a noise. He said, it's so weird. I went through my whole life thinking, what's wrong with me? Something's wrong with me. And that's why I don't have a girlfriend or a wife, because I have this belief. But like a good detective, we put it away and said, you know, nothing's wrong with you except you're a boy. And if you were old, you'd say to your parents, look, I'm not a girl, I'm a boy. Boys learn to do stuff. It's like having a dog. They need to run and jump and play and make a noise. And so for him, just being able to see, there's nothing wrong with me. I'm just not a girl. Exactly. And if your parents were meant to have a girl, they'd have a girl. But they had a boy. And of course, the opposite of that is many people who have a boy and then a little girl and the little girl is a tomboy because they want to be like the brother. And if you're a little boy with sisters, you often want to be like the sister and play with Barbies. And smart parents just let that be. And ones who don't know better go, what's wrong with you? Why are you trying to be like a boy or trying to be like a girl? But the good news is that he understood that there was nothing wrong with him and in fact, everything was right with him within a week of that session 
he was going out and women were talking to him and chatting to him and praising him and he met a great girlfriend, he's still with her. And it's really amazing what you can do in a session. It's like watching a film unfold, but thinking, you know, I'm watching this client's story, but I am going to change the ending. I'm going to give someone a better ending, a happy ending.